Hi, I'm uh, Ray Playford. I'm the Deputy Warden at uh, Queen Mary College School of Medicine and Dentistry, and I'm a clinical gastroenterologist. Well, colostrum, which of course is the early milk uh, after a, a calf or, or a baby is born, is very different from adult milk, and it's very rich in uh, immune-type products, including uh, immunoglobulins, and these certainly do help uh, fight bacteria and other microorganisms, and it's also very rich in growth factors, which help stimulate the growth of the gut. Well, in a laboratory setting, there's absolutely no doubt we've seen that if you take cells from the human gut wall and you grow them in the presence of colostrum, they certainly seem to do a lot better. They grow and heal up much faster than normal. I think a boosted immunity is very helpful because if you have a, a, a breakage in the bowel lining, then all the bacteria and other toxins can get in. So the combination of enhancing your immune system as well as stimulating the repair is a very good combination to have. Well, gut permeability is a normal phenomenon. We all have a certain amount of leakiness of the bowel, and this is really a side effect of the digestive process. But some people with certain clinical diseases have problems with increased leakiness, so the various toxins in the gut bowel get into the bloodstream, and that's something that we try and stop. We know that athletes who are undertaking heavy exercise tend to get a lot of gut symptoms, including diarrhea and cramps. And we also know that the gut tends to become leaky following heavy exercise. So we're currently looking at whether colostrum supplements can reduce this leakiness, possibly also reducing their gut symptoms as well. Colostrum is helpful if people have had stomach ulcers or if they have inflammation of the bowels, and they're called inflammatory bowel disease. And we also know that if people have been taking strong painkillers and so are getting indigestion or leakiness of the bowel from that, colostrum is beneficial. And so these further series of studies should expand this repertoire of what we can look at.